His art is tilted, twisted, warped, and wonderful. People don't really expect or believe that somebody could actually do it by hand. That's right, hard to believe, but this isn't made by computer. They're really amazed when they can see him working behind me and just get to know the story. And it's a good story. Marty Mahachek knew at a very young age that he was meant to be an artist. Oh, I think I knew uh, pretty much since I could hold a pencil. I, my grandma would uh, get me coloring books and I, rather than coloring them, I would just redraw the pages. A sign of things to come. Marty was born in the Czech Republic. Growing up in Prague, I, you know, I was always surrounded by beautiful architecture, various different architectural styles, the huge cathedrals, the beautiful squares. His family moved to Calgary in the late 70s. It took some convincing to get his parents to let him attend art school. Art is a very difficult uh, uh, choice. My dad's a welder, so. So he wanted Marty to follow in dad's footsteps. But instead of picking up a welding torch, Marty held tight onto his dream. I went through art college trying not to be influenced, actually. I was, um, I was really scared of like plagiarism and, and things like that. And uh, so even like we had to do research on artists, I, I never did. <laughs> Marty was intent on developing a style of his own. After graduating art school, he began a career in architectural illustration. Unfortunately, at that time, hand rendering was being phased out computer-generated artwork was moving in. Made me have to kind of reevaluate uh, <laughs> my career. And while he was reevaluating, Marty would jump on his bicycle and go for long rides outside of Calgary. He began to find beauty in the old abandoned barns that dot the prairie landscape. Tilting and leaning and even though they're abandoned sometimes, they just had these beautiful lines. Then one day, working on an architectural rendering of a building, Marty had his aha moment. As I was drawing it, I noticed a reflection of a cathedral being reflected in glass. And uh, that was it. That was just like, it's beautiful. You know, it, just the imperfections, uh, uh, something about the lines, um, you know, just understanding how things don't always have to be perfect to be beautiful. It just lifted me up and um, I was like, this is it. This is what I want to do. I did one drawing and a gentleman uh, walked by and wanted to purchase it. And I was like, great. <laughs> yeah, that was actually the first piece of art I've ever sold. Yeah, no more straight lines for me. <laughs> Since giving up straight lines, Marty's life just keeps getting better. He and wife Dana now live in Victoria, and many days you can find them at the Inner Harbor Causeway. It's the best job ever. I love being outside, I love speaking with people, I love meeting people from around the world, different backgrounds, and I get to say nice things about my husband every day. Marty's most popular work and his personal favorite, his tribute to the soon-to-be-replaced Johnson Street Bridge. It'll definitely be sad to see it go. I'll just have to double my prices on my prints, I guess, once it's gone. <laughs> Marty and Dana plan to start traveling more so that he can paint iconic structures from all over the world. I love traveling, so kind of combine the two and uh, basically uh, try to take over the world. Can't wait to see what that world will look like. In Victoria, I'm Dan Kong.